Hi guys, my name is Lizelle from Lizelle Loves Books and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Happy Friday. Today's video is going to be my five recent reads video. I got this idea from Brie from In Love and Words because she does this weekly video where she talks about her five most recent reads. So I'm going to tell you about my recent reads. And the first book is The Longing of Lone Wolves by Lana Pekerchik. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce her last name. But I read this book because of Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. And it is about Earth is, it's basically Earth is destroyed all the all the people are destroyed and as years years later there are fae roaming around on the earth fae vampires all sorts of different creatures and one day clark wakes up in this new world and she's lost. She doesn't know what's happening. But bad Faye go to grab her. And she's yelling for help. And she sees this guy. This, this Faye. This Faye person whose name is Rush. And... And he, he, Clark begs Rush to help her out of this sticky situation. And Rush does help Clark out. But he's um perplexed because nobody is supposed to be able to see Clark, to see Rush because Rush... Rush had a curse put on him because he he did an unsanctioned breeding and had a baby with a fae that wasn't that wasn't approved by the government. Um, see, in this world. You cannot have unsanctioned breeding. So, as a result, Rush was kicked out of his, the guardianship home, and the mother of his child died, and he was, he spent the rest of his life invisible. But Clark is the only person to see him. So, here, so him and Clark make a deal that he will help Clark find her friends and learn more about this world because Clark has premonitions. Rush agrees to help Clark. Only so, only if she will be his voice because nobody can see him except Clark. And his plan is to take Clark to the order, but, but, but as their journey goes on, they realize that they are mates. 
so now Rush is stuck in a situation whether he's going to hand Clark over to the order or or keep her with him. That's book one in the Fae Guardian series. The next book I read is book two in the Fae Guardian series. And, and that is about Laurel and Thorn. Thorn is Rush's son. And from book one, and Laurel is Clark's friend. In this story, Thorn wants to find his mentor and and Clark said the only way you can find your mentor is if you help if you find Laurel. Laurel is the key to helping you find your friend. But so Thorn goes on this journey to find Laurel but what he doesn't tell Rush, or what he doesn't, what Clark doesn't tell Thorn is that Laurel is his faded mate. So it's Laurel and Thorn's story as they go on this journey to help Thorn find his mentor and Laurel getting used to waking up in this strange world and, and finding out if they really want to become mates. I gave one, book one five stars. I gave book two four stars because, I don't know. I forgot to mention Thorn Laurel has the power no of fire. And towards his father. And I thought that was misplaced because his father couldn't do anything about it because he turned invisible. But I still liked it. I gave it four stars. The next book I want to talk about is called The Shield and the Thistle. I read this book because I forgot to mention I listened uh, to the audio book of this book. I really liked it. The girl did all the girl parts um, and the guy from the book did all the guy parts. Uh, it was a very the, good audio The book. Shield and the Thistle is about a girl named Maggie. In the beginning of the story, we find out that her boyfriend cheats on her. So she's very broken hearted. She, she leaves New York to go to Scotland to be with her grandmother because her grandmother lives in Scotland. And one day when she's in Scotland, she goes to these, this cave and her grandmother always tells her to be careful of this cave because a lot of weird stuff happens involving this cave. And when she gets out of this cave, out of this cave in Scotland, she finds herself in 1858 back in the past. And she meets this guy, this Scottish gentleman named Connor. And, and she's trying to find a way home. 
but she has to tell Connor the truth about where she's from, and there's magic involved, and uh, rivaling families. I had a very good time with this book. I gave it four stars because um, I thought Connor accept the accepted the fact that she's from the future way too easily. I expected resistance when there was none, but it was still a good read for me. I really enjoyed it. I want to move on to book two because, as I said, there is magic involved in the first book, but in the second book, there's a witch, a scarred witch, and it's about Connor's brother, so I really want to read book two. The fourth book I read recently and I I read because of McKay from Oh Hey It's McKay and I preface this because it is not a romance because it doesn't end in an HEA but there's but I think their story needs to be told. I give this book five stars. I loved it, although when I read the ending, I was sobbing uncontrollably. My eyes were red, but it, this, it's called Where the Mountains Meet the Sea, and it is about Rowan and Luna. Rowan and Luna meet when they're six. And seven Roman. years old. His name is Roman. It followed them from childhood to high school, and then fourth. It's. It follows them when they first became friends, growing into teenagers, where they realized they liked each other, and. And something happens, when. They're in high. They. They're in high school where they separate. Because, Rowan, his dream is to be in a rock band, because his father was a musician, and Luna's dream is to be a ballerina. Something happens where they are separated, and boy, let me tell you, it's gut-wrenching. But you know these two are meant to be together. This, uh, Roman had me in a chokehold. I tell you, when I read this book, I was sobbing. I still thinking about the ending because I just can't believe that happened but please read this book but I warn you that this story does not have an HEA <laughs> just telling you but Roman is such a sweetheart hero he He'll do anything for poor Luna, and the journey they go on together is so good, but also so tragic at the same time. The last book I want to talk about is a new book that was new to me. I downloaded it because I saw... Sam from Sam Reads a Little. Don't want to read it. And that is The Wrong Bride. I'm currently reading this one now. And The Wrong Bride is about Raven and Aries. 
Raven has been in love with Aries her whole life. Aries is is Raven's best friend's brother and she she's always been in love with him but Aries is engaged to Raven's older sister. But one day Raven's Raven's sister calls off the wedding and uh, and their grandmothers say no she you cannot call off the wedding. We need this wedding to go on because we need to merge our company. So Raven marries Aries instead and it's their romance. It is so angsty. Raven is worried that she'll always be a replacement to her sister. But you come to find out that um, Aries' relationship with Hannah isn't wasn't always sunshine and rainbows, cause, cause yeah. Hannah always took Aries for granted, and once Aries married Hannah, uh, once Harry, once Aries married Raven, he's all about her, and he realizes. Maybe, maybe he wasn't, he wasn't in love with Hannah, maybe he was in love with the Raven, but of course the sister tries to get in between their relationship. This book is so angsty and I'm only... 34.7% in. I think this book is going to be my favorite of the year. The Wrong Bride. Please read it. If those, those are all the books that, that I recently read. Please comment down below if you have read any of these books or if you any if you have any book suggestions for me, I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!